Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Saturday night, May 13th, 2023. It's about 10.20 p.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California. Latest quake here on the globe shows a 1.8 into the area of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and jump in there real quick and see what we got going on across this area. Most of the movement today across the Pahala area, but also still seeing some uh, earthquake activity around the Kilauea volcano. Uh, no major changes, just still continuing with that little uh, earthquake swarm. Uh, we did have a five-pointer up here along the Aleutian Trench earlier this afternoon. A 5.4 uh, at 118 kilometers deep. Also one earthquake here. Northern end of the Kuril Kamachaka Trench also uh, this afternoon. It looks like late afternoon, 34 kilometers deep. All right, so what do we got here for the uh, West Coast region? Got one little earthquake here. Uh, just off the coast of Alaska, along the North American and the Pacific plate boundary up here. We don't see too much earthquake activity here, but it does happen. Uh, 3.9 coming in earlier this afternoon. All right, as far as Northern California activity goes, uh, looks like our last recorded earthquake was a 2.3 uh, this afternoon. Very shallow earthquake there at the surface for the most part. Um, I do want to check and see if we, or if they, the USGS has updated any of the seismograph stations here. They all went offline, uh, back on the 11th for some reason, and they're still there. Look at that. This is still from a couple days ago. So I, you know, have no, no proof of really what's going on here. As far as earthquake activity goes, you know, just got to take their word for it that uh, they're putting out the right data. But I use these uh, recorded data systems here um, to make sure, you know, that they're putting out their earthquake activity notifications. But uh, most of them are all offline since the 11th of May, right around the time that the earthquake activity started happening uh, to the south here around the Lake Albanor region. It's a little odd. Uh, continue to check back on that one earthquake up here uh, outside of Eureka this one coming in looks like just after midnight last night 2.2 uh, let's see what we got here for the trimmer activity zero zip nada zero trimmers being reported here uh, across the area rest of California here uh, most of the movement. A little bit of activity north of the Garlock Fault Shear Zone. Aside from that, the San Jacinto Fault Zone showing some typical activity up there. Uh, and of course, down here in Texas, these guys always getting in on some earthquake activity out there in the oil fields. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, zip zero, not a going on, but let's just double check and make sure. Looks like there's a little bit of earthquake activity there around the, uh, what is that going to be your Holmes Hill area? And this was updated, um, yeah, this is most recently updated. Uh, some small microquake activity here is noted. Maybe a upper one, maybe a two magnitude with this one. That did show up across uh, a good portion of the park, so more than likely that's probably a two-pointer. But um, I don't believe they reported anything over here. Some smaller quakes from earlier, uh, but it's got to be above 2.5 for the uh, computer systems to pick it out. Uh, they'll probably get to it on Monday morning, I'm sure. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here for the uh, worldwide view. Looking at uh, the Western Pacific over here. Looks like we did have some movement around the Philippines earlier. Uh, but far as newer activity goes, not really seeing it. Uh, there's a 3.1 off of the plate boundary here. Looks like into the East China Sea or maybe the Yellow Sea area, as noted here on the Earthquake 3D program. Uh, aside from that, most of the movement here today, uh, some older activity. Not a whole lot going on across the Java Trench. A 4.2 coming in right now, though. Uh, let's see exactly where that's at. Looks like the central Afghanistan area, 50 kilometers deep. Let's see if USGS is reporting that quake over here. Not yet. Uh, EMSC, it looks like, uh, are the ones reporting that data currently. 
A uh, little bit of movement across the Mediterranean, nothing big going on. A couple twos and threes. The Atlantic Ocean uh, looks clear for the most part up and down the board. Some deeper activity there into the Peru Chile Trench with a slight activity around the Puerto Rico region. Let's see what we got going on over here. Uh, looks like a little swarm again around the Mona Seamount. That's kind of been an ongoing deal here. Let me see what we got for the last seven days. Here's the last 30 days. It looks like most of the activity here over the last week or so. Quite a few threes coming in somewhat deep here around the Mona Seamount, Mona Trough area. I'll kind of continue to watch that. Uh, also some activity around the southwestern corner of Puerto Rico. Very typical there. It's been swarming for uh, quite a while. Alrighty, let's see what else we got. New Zealand, anything going on out in the New Zealand region? Not seeing anything. Nothing being reported here across the area. But um, let's go check it out. See what's going on there. Uh, nothing really. Mostly small microquakes being reported here from the GeoNet servers. Not seeing anything major. Uh, quick glance at the earthquake drums will give us a good indicator of what's going on. And it uh, looks like a little scattered activity here earlier uh, this morning around North Island. But for the most part, uh, things look fairly calm across the area. All right, jumping into space weather activity. Um, I definitely didn't want that. There we go. Still showing the older imagery up here for some reason. This is from uh, UTC time of May 13th. This was well over, uh, looks like well over 24 hours ago, working on about 30 hours old imagery. And I believe this is with the SDO in general. Uh, let's see where their imagery is. Let me refresh this map. Uh, this is all their imagery, the latest supposedly the latest information but uh, even their data uh, if you were to open this here okay that was just weird uh, yeah this shows the same thing so about 30 hours old for some reason uh, it's not only the solar ham site but it looks like it's coming from the SDO the uh, official nasa.gov site that's having some issues so don't really know what's going on with the UV filter as uh, far as the regional sunspots as well, it's roughly about the same thing. This is from the same time period. If you can see here on the bottom a little bit, that's from um, about 30 hours ago. So, you know, your guess is as good as mine when it comes to what's going on. Uh, no mention of anything here from the uh, solarham.net site far as a real-time solar wind stream I guess we have to go off that for now uh, this looks like it has been updated things look fairly stable up top no density no speed everything looks fairly calm far as any uh, CME or Aurora uptick goes but uh, goodness I wanted to see what's going on here with the uh, sunspot regions so I guess we'll have to wait and see uh, if they'll pick this back up see this image here is from well this looks like it's from the 11th time period May 11th so a couple days old there not for sure what's going on same for this one so it it is what it is just gotta I, I don't control this if it's coming straight from the SDO uh, we are just out of luck in terms of viewing any recent imagery they all are old all right so let's go on to the storm prediction center and see what's going on for weather there's not a whole lot out here for uh any major severe weather threat here over the next couple days most of it looks to be some marginal risk but that's about it which is good news but still some rainfall out there across a good portion of the country that needs the um that needs that that uh, moisture. All right, let's see. Uh, let me go up here. I want to check out long-term models here and see what we have across the North Pacific. A symbol. 
and massive high pressure system here looks like it's parked over Canada uh, bringing in the heat wave here to Northern California uh, just want to look out into the future see if we have any cooler weather out here because man it was 98 degrees today I'm a little bit burned out on the heat already um, I'm not seeing any major changes out here it just looks like a, a dominant high pressure system here across the uh, a good portion of the North America region also the North Pacific out here so uh, I think it's gonna be a brutal summer not see anything major going on over here across the rest of the country either this looks very typical of the summer patterns um, no major troughs coming in it looks like there for the rest of the country all right guys I'm gonna jump off here I have a good night uh, continue to kind of keep an eye on things here in California uh, just you know I, I'm not big not a big fan of uh, data just being old and, and coming up missing you know there's a couple different things there with the space weather being a couple days old and Mount Lassen data being a couple days old uh, it's just weird it's just weird it's like they turned off uh, they turned off the public access here you know you don't for some reason I don't want uh, it may just be a coincidence maybe you know something just some computer glitch or something going on but well, I guess we'll wait until Monday because that's really the only day I think when they will be able to get to it for now we have the live data up here which is good and uh, these are all the stations that I'm currently monitoring quite quite got quite a few up here just FYI Barrett is down in Southern California uh, Petrolia here in Northern California, south of Eureka, uh, Hawaii, station there, uh, station in South America and Chile, uh, Japan, Yellowstone, that's Lake Yellowstone, um, New Guinea area, and also the uh, New Zealand region down here on bottom. So these are live data stations coming in. Any earthquake activity in these locations will definitely show up. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there, and we will chat you guys uh, sometime tomorrow. One more, well, two more days until the member drawing. So make sure you get in on that drawing here coming up on Monday. We're going to be doing the member-only drawing giveaway. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. Have a good one.